Uh, at this time, I think that we should start the program to recognize the, the one of the most important persons in the United States of America in our history, uh, General George Washington, and he has a few words to uh, t talk to you about his compatriot and uh, the gentleman that uh, uh, gave uh, developed many of his battle plans, uh, the General Kosciuszko, General Washington. Thank you. Friends, citizens, patriots, I am honored to be with you today to pay tribute to a true friend of liberty throughout the world, Thaddeus Kuchko. He first presented himself to me in 1776 with a note of introduction and recommendation from Dr. Benjamin Franklin. He said he came to America to fight for American independence when I asked, what can you do? He quickly responded, try me. And I did. He first helped us defend Philadelphia, and then as Colonel of Engineers, assigned to General Gates in the North in 17 and 77, he laid out the defenses of Bemis Heights, making it impregnable to the British, thus helping us win the most important victory at that time in Saratoga, defeating General Burgoyne. He was given high praises by General Gates. And in 17 and 78, we assigned Kushko, chief engineer of the design and construction of the fortification of West Point, which became known as our American Gibraltar, as the British were never able to penetrate them. Later in the Great War, we sent him to the Southern Army to help General Nathaniel Green, where he was instrumental with General Green's efforts that eventually forced British General Cornwallis into the coastal port areas of Virginia. He once again earned high praise, this time from General Green. We were, of course, able to defeat General Cornwallis at Yorktown on the 19th of October, 1781, ending our War of Independence. In recognition of his service, Congress appointed Thaddeus Kuchko Brigadier General in 1783, and I awarded him the Order of Cincinnati Medal, along with two pistols and a sword. Thaddeus Kuchko is an engineer of eminence, an architect, an artist, and a firm believer in human rights and liberty for all. As I said to him and I say to all of you, no one has a higher respect and veneration of your character than I have. My hope is for he and his homeland to finally have the freedom and liberty he helped us fight for and win here in the United States of America. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America. I remain your most humble and loyal servant.